Happy New Year's, everybody. Sammy. I thought they were doing them at Post College. They're doing them here at Holy Land. Unless they're doing them in both spots. What? I know, I got, I'm going to take it out.
Oh, I'm not worried about that.
processes, including mid-level dry air entrainment, cooling under the thunderstorm cloud base. Sublimation, which occurs when the cloud base is above the freezing level, and rain and or hail, with a thunderstorm, called precipitation loading. Some microbursts are triggered by a mixture of these elements, while others are triggered by only one. Microbursts are classified as wet, dry, or hybrid. As a result of this, the key driving processes with dry microbursts are cooling beneath the thunderstorm cold base and sublimation. The dry kind refers to microbursts that have little or no precipitation at the surface or aloft. Entrainment of mid-level dry air and precipitation loading, on the other hand, are the main drivers of wet microbursts. Both wet and dry microbursts are present in hybrid microbursts. Dry air entrainment, with or without precipitation loading, force them in the mid-levels, while cooling beneath the cloud base and or sublimation, force them down in the low levels. Number 13. Fire tornado caught on camera as Australian wildfires rage. A fire whirl, sometimes known as fire devil, is a whirlwind created by a fire, which is usually composed of flames or ash. When extreme heat and turbulent wind combine to create whirling eddies of air, they start with a whirl of wind, which is usually visible as smoke. These eddies can condense into a tornado-like vortex, pulling debris and combustible gases in. The phenomenon is also known as a fire tornado, fire tornado, fire swirl, or fire twister. However, these terms usually refer to a distinct event in which a fire gets so strong that a tornado forms. The first time this phenomenon was proven was during the 2003 Canadian bushfires and the 2018 car fire in California and the 2015 oil fire in California and Nevada. I've since confirmed it. Eyewitness footage shows fire tornadoes forming as wildfires rage across Australia. Brett Davis captured footage of one of the tornadoes. Flames originated on the north shore of Kangaroo Island, off the coast of South Central Australia, in a Facebook post. Early and destructive wildfires in Australia's summer season burned roughly 5 million hectares of land, killed at least 19 people, and damaged over 1,400 dwellings. That is more land burned in Australia in a single year than in any other country in the United States since Harry Truman was president. Number 12. Mudslides follow everything else. Caught on camera. When trees and terrain began to tumble down a small road in Idaho, a horrific mudslide engulfed everything in its path. The camera continued to film. A mud flow, often known as a mudslide, is a type of mass waste that involves a quite quick to extremely rapid surging flow of debris that has become partially or entirely liquefied after considerable amounts of water have been added to the source material. Mud flows have a higher amount of clay than debris flows, making them more fluid and allowing them to go further and across lower slope angles. Both types are often made up of a variety of components of varied sizes, which are normally separated by size before being deposited. Mud flows are frequently referred to as mudslides, a name that the media has applied indiscriminately to a number of mass wasting phenomena. Mud flows frequently begin as slides that turn into flows when water is entrained along the flow route. These phenomena are commonly referred to as flow slides. Heavy rain, snow melt, or high ground water levels rubbing through the broken bedrock can cause landslides to transport soil or sediments, resulting in mud flows. Strong rains on hill or mountain slopes can produce considerable erosion and or mobilize loose silt in steep mountain channels, resulting in floods and debris flows. Number 11. More weight landslide. Passive landslide sweeps eight homes into the sea. In northern Norway, a huge landslide with a breadth of more than 2,000 feet has swept eight buildings into the sea. The instability lasted many hours and one person was evacuated from a neighboring residence, but no injuries have been reported. On the western edge of Krakness in Alta Municipality, a landslide measuring more than 2,000 feet broad and 500 feet high happened. At 3.45 p.m., the police were alerted of the situation and an air and sea rescue effort was immediately initiated. Some of the event was captured on video by a local. The first of the demonstrates the strength of the land movement. One resident recounted hearing a crash in his cabin's lawn. 
Here's our vacation houses, which would have been completely occupied just 48 hours before during the national holiday. Residences and gardens were destroyed by hailstones the size of golf balls.